Welcome guys, today we let you know why we changed our plans and didn't sail across the Indian Ocean. We had some hard decisions to make. Come on sweetheart. Hi, we're still in a Fulu. We're still anchored in here. We've got all our fuel now, We've got our food, and we um, got some internet. And now we're kind of just in the midst of deciding what we're going to do. At least fixing the nose of the boat. Um, it's a big crack in Catalpa, and it's it's making us doubt her capability of crossing the Indian Ocean. So <sighs> yeah, we're not sure. Our friends left. You know, left four days ago, three or four days ago. So, um, we're having second thoughts about crossing. That's what's going on. So, we're leaving Afulu Bay this morning. We're heading back out to Treasures. See if we can go get a wave. And, um, yeah, we're just taking each day as it comes. Sing, won't you sing? With me, leave everything for me, stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. Walk through the rain with me, get soaked to the skin, feel free, shut the world out. Let's hang. decision to make and what we decided uh, which was best for all of us was to can going across the Indian Ocean for a number of reasons um, safety obviously is first for us and um, we had a series of events uh, with the boat weren't major but they were enough for us to reassess our situation on crossing the Indian yeah so we had um, you saw what I showed you was some damage on the bow of Catalpa that wasn't the only reason and Lee did fix it up and she probably would have been fine but it was that plus a combination of things. Yeah so like Sarah said with the bow we weren't aware of it until our um, stop at Afulu and it was like wow did we hit something? Is it rusting inside the hull and its expansion of the concrete? We don't know um, but we did have some really rough weather tacking out um, on the top of Sumatra there. Um, beat hard towards the wind. Yeah, it wasn't fun and it took its toll on a few things. Um, we had the radar not working properly. We had the Simrad is a bit intermittent. It sort of freezes and restarts and does that about three times now nearly every time on startup. 
So faith in the head unit was sort of not there. Um, after we had that big C, I noticed the bolts on the um, underside um, of the mast had slightly loosened, so there'd been some compaction um, in between the mast there and between the deck. We were going across with two other boats and because we were delayed waiting for our starter motor, we were already five days behind them. Um, once we got to Sumatra, we still had a few days here uh, and they'd already left. So we were well and truly not be traveling with the people that we were planning yeah. on traveling with. Um, it wasn't a major reason, but all of those things combined made us question and made us kind of... It wasn't flowing. Nothing was like, there was just constant little things that just weren't right. And we were like... Yeah. Lee a had bit... a gut instinct actually mm. to not go. And we've kind of learned to trust that. We're just pushing it on a boat that's not suited for our adventures, I think. And um, it's time to look at a different boat. I feel like we've outgrown this one. It's been good. It's It's been awesome. So, you know, the coronavirus hit and everything happened we were in Malaysia and we'd been in Malaysia for nearly a year uh, Lee had gone back to work and the reason he went back to work was to see if we could get into another boat so he was earning extra money so that we could save our money and get into another boat that was more blue water worthy to sail around the world that was that was the plan but this boat we'd always just we'd always we wanted to just go and we shouldn't have ever really left in this boat but we mm. did and then we thought we'd put money into it and we'd make her better and we'd make it right and and we did <laughs> and we just kept really trying to make this boat something that she's really not and we could keep trying keep spending money but it just doesn't feel right to keep going with something that doesn't feel right i suppose and yeah and for our safety as well i mean we crossing the indian ocean is a big deal uh it was it would have been 21 days minimum at sea and if something goes wrong, um, which it, there was a high chance with this boat, so, yeah. I mean, she could have made it. We could have been there. Our friends got across fine. They had a, a great trip, but we just don't know. And, we just... and not that we are in a better situation anyway, because <laughs> now we're, we've checked out of Malaysia and being that it's coronavirus time, we, they let us know that we couldn't actually go back to Malaysia. Um, now we're on our way back to Australia because there's nowhere really open. So we're to make our way back through Indonesia and back to Australia at this stage unless something else changes. We were hanging here for you because we thought that there might be a possibility that we could get back to Thailand. We really want to sell Catalpa and get into another boat so that we can continue our adventures safely and also with more room, more space. We can't really turn back to Malaysia and we can't really head towards Australia at the moment so we're sort of in a bit of limbo and we can't check into Indonesia so there isn't many options where we are I mean to be honest the only option at the moment is to go back to Australia uh, to get legally checked into a country so at this stage that's what we're doing that's our plan it's 3,000 nautical miles from where we are to get back to Australia um, so it's way further than if we cross the Indian Ocean and going in the wrong direction. And it's challenging because um, so we're going against the grain as you'd say I suppose like there's gonna be a lot of beating into the wind so fingers crossed all goes well getting back. We are going at the the change of season yeah. so it is the time when the winds do change. The reason we have been here as long as we have um, is because we've been waiting for the winds to change. Where a couple of weeks off heading south and heading back to Australia so there's a possibility that we could check into Lombok which is still a really far distance from here yeah uh, fuel and food is uh, we do have a lot of supplies but obviously you need to have your fresh greens and fruits and whatnot which is the biggest challenge for us and fuel so we're gonna be doing a lot of motoring because we're going the wrong way being that the seasons changing there'll probably be a lot of um, days where there'll be no wind at all so until we hit the east coast of Australia and then it'll be wind the whole way halfway down the coast and another major issue we're gonna face we're running into a cyclone season that this year they predict to be really bad so um, the water's very warm which allows the cyclones to run really freely down the coastline and um, yeah they say it's gonna be a bad one so 
we're gonna have to really move quickly down the coast and um, get as far south as possible so we're out of that cyclone belt. So we're planning on getting across to Australia in November. Uh, cyclone season starts in November. Usually there isn't a cyclone until in December, late December is usually when they are more prominent. But yeah, like Lee said, it's if we have to stop and quarantine somewhere for a couple of weeks, then it delays us getting down the coast safely. So yeah, we, we've kind of just, we got to, we have to go. I mean, we yeah. don't really have another option, so. There's a lot of people in a lot of different scenarios. Um, we're far from not the only ones here. Our solution is to go home. Yeah, we're lucky that our, our home country is a sail away. I mean, we can sail there and we can get there. It's not going to be great, <laughs> but we will get there and it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we just wanted to jump on and let you guys know that that's why we didn't go to the Seychelles. That was our plan. Our intention was to sail the Seychelles. Um, we've ended up being stuck in Indonesia, but we just wanted to fill you in. That's why we didn't cross the Indian Ocean. Our videos are going to continue. We're going to keep continuing. We don't know what the future holds, but we're going to get into another boat somehow. We're heading back to Australia, and that's all we know so far. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned, guys. See you next time. <laughs> Subscribe and like this video, and um, yeah, see you soon. Keep watching for more adventures. It's a wrap. Yep. All right. Is that good enough? <laughs> I think it's good enough. All right, guys, change of plans once again. We were on our way back to Australia and Indonesia decided to open up to yachts. And we thought, well, we might just take you up on that and we've got our visas. Uh, we've just got to clear the boat in now. We're on our way to Jakarta and we are checked into Indonesia. Yeah, so we're just going to hang around here a while. There's so much to see, so much to show you. We missed so much and um, look at this water behind us. Oh I mean, why would we leave? It's absolutely beautiful here. We're so happy and so excited and we can't wait to take you guys with us. Yeah. Welcome Stay back to Indonesia. And welcome back. <laughs> and we... again, guys, like this video. Subscribe. And we'll see you soon.